laptop, boy. So, what's his plan? I'm the clue. Will the witness repeat this oath after me? I swear by God, the Almighty and Omniscient. I swear by God, the Almighty and Omniscient. That I will speak the pure truth and will withhold and add nothing. That I will speak the pure truth and will withhold and add nothing. Mr. Chief Prosecutor. You are perhaps aware that you are the only living man who can expound to us the true purposes of the Nazi party and the inner workings of its leadership. I am perfectly aware of that. And you, from the very beginning, together with those who you were associated with, intended to overthrow and later on did overthrow Germany's previous government, the Weimar Republic. That was my firm intention. And upon coming to power, you immediately abolished parliamentary democratic government in Germany. We found it no longer to be necessary. Is it not true that people subsequently were thrown into concentration camps without recourse from the courts? You must distinguish between two categories. Those who had committed some kind of treason against the new state were naturally turned over to the courts. The others whom one might expect such acts, but who had not yet committed them, such as the functionaries of the Communist Party who were attacking us in the thousands. You've answered the question, thank you. I need to explain further. Well, you'll have the opportunity to explain further under re-examination from your own counsel. Now, did you prohibit all yes. court review of the cause for taking people into what you were calling at the time protective custody? That I answered very clearly, but I should like to make an explanation in connection with my the answer. The counsel will see to that. Now, about the concentration camps. Mr. Justice Jacks, the tribunal thinks the witness ought to be allowed to make what explanation he thinks right in answer to this question. The tribunal thinks that you should be permitted to explain your answer now, and it will listen to that explanation. I want to say that I issued a decree that those who were turned over to the concentration camps should be informed after 24 hours of the reason and allowed an attorney after 48 hours. This by no means rescinded my order that a court review of these measures was not permitted. Now, by protective custody, you mean that you were taking people into custody who had not yet committed a crime, but you believed might quite possibly commit a crime in the future? Yes, just as extensive protective measures are being taken in Germany today. On I a didn't ask you about Germany scale. today. Mr. Justice Jacks, this is poor preparation. The witness may finish his explanation. Say that you were against the attack on Soviet Russia, yet you gave no warning to the German people. You brought no pressure to bear to prevent the attack. You did not even resign to protect your place in history. We were at war, and such differences of opinion could not be brought before the public during war. This was the case in your own country. As to your second question. That will suffice. I'm not finished. Secondly. Your Honor, please. A witness must be allowed to have his say. Secondly, as far as my resignation is concerned, I do not wish even to discuss that. For I was an officer, a soldier. I served my country. Now, I ask you Thirdly, this. Your I Honor, was not, please. Thirdly, I was not the man to forsake someone to whom I had given my oath of loyalty every time he was not to my way of thinking. Your Honor. It never, ever occurred to me to leave the Fuhrer. Your Honor, the witness is adopting a contemptuous attitude toward this tribunal, which is giving him the trial that he never gave a living soul nor dead ones either. No objection, Your Honor. I'm ready for the next question. I think this is probably a good point to adjourn for the day.
Tough calls from the bench. Well, it's early round one. If you think you need anything, don't forget I'm here. As the week